If a tsunami were to happen right now, would your town be prepared? Using a coastal town as a model, we're going to assume that a tsunami is approaching. We'll watch how the situation progresses in two scenarios, one before evacuation planning and one after. This is a fairly standard example of an evacuation plan, including evacuation facilities, overpass, etc. First, we'll take a look at the evacuation facilities. When evacuation facilities are in place, the distance required for evacuation can be reduced. Next, we'll look at the overpass. This particular countermeasure is intended to relieve traffic jams. There is also a road embankment. The road embankment is intended to weaken the tsunami. Now, we're going to simulate an evacuation in a time series from the moment the earthquake strikes up until the tsunami arrives. Evacuation procedures begin five minutes after the earthquake strikes. In the before scenario, there is only one road for evacuation. After, we have multiple evacuation routes available. In the before scenario, there are many people evacuating by car. After, we are able to decrease that number by setting up evacuation facilities. Ten minutes after the earthquake strikes, there is a significant difference in traffic conditions. In the before scenario, cars are concentrated at the intersection. After. The overhead crossing allows for a smooth evacuation. Fifteen minutes after the earthquake strikes, the traffic jam in the before scenario has grown even worse. In the before scenario, those evacuating on foot have lost their way, resulting in confusion. After, they are able to evacuate without getting lost. In the after scenario, we are able to decrease the number of people evacuating by car by setting up evacuation facilities. Twenty minutes after the earthquake strikes, the traffic jam in the before scenario has grown even worse. In the before scenario, a traffic jam occurs and cars are unable to move. On the left, we can see cars lining up. On the right, there is smoother flow of traffic due to overpass and other measures. In the before scenario, the traffic jam goes right up to the intersection. The after scenario allows for a smooth evacuation. You will also notice a difference in the evacuation's overall speed. 30 minutes after the earthquake strikes, the after scenario is 100% complete whereas the before scenario is still at 70%. We can see that the after scenario has already completed its evacuation, while the before scenario has not. Thirty minutes after the earthquake strikes, the tsunami arrives. In the after scenario, the tsunami is held back by the road embankment. Before, the tsunami's waters are spilling into the streets. What do you need to do to secure a safe future? 
We at Pacific Consultants Company Limited are here to help you with your evacuation plans.